summer continues. We're gonna go to Barrier. Hopefully this weather stays like it is. It was the summer of all summers and it kept on continuing. Off to Barrier again, we took the kids out of school for a few days over Auckland anniversary and Waitangi weekend. On the way over, we stopped at a few sharky locations for a spear dive. At one stage, Adam was being circled by a bronzy and a Marco. Gave Marco a poke with a spear. Quite a story. We got what we came for, however. The sharks went away empty-handed. Stopping at our secret crayfish spot, Adam managed one on that dive. And here's the crayfish. And a whole lot a bit later. This is Bradshaw Cove, and we've come in here for the night. There's a nice little beach, sandy beach, and there's a rope swing. What's up? At Bradshaw Cove you can go ashore and walk to the top of Kaikoura Island where there is an airstrip. Unfortunately we didn't have time to walk all the way over the island to man of war passage on the other side. We'll save that for another time. We're going on a bear hunt. We're not scared. We're not scared. Are they huts? Yeah. For trampers? Yes, but it's locked. It's very peaceful when Taylor's not talking. Egg Taylor. What can you see? A mountain of trees. Amazing views from the top and such a clear and warm day. It's nice, isn't it? It's an airstrip. What if we see a plane coming down, Mama? We hope to duck and run off to the side. Going back down. Yellow. Green, white, and pink. Amazing. Baby birds. What you got there, Tay? The afternoon was spent hunting. Who got it? Me. How'd you get it, crab hunter? This crab got to see another day. Oh, he's lost another leg. Yeah. As did the baby snapper Cody was catching. The crayfish, however. This is the size of Cody's fish that he's catching. They've even been smaller than that though, haven't they? Yeah. Meet the Heather. This is Chris and Julia's boat. We met Chris and Julia while parked up in Bradshaw Cove and then spent the next two or three days with them. There was a common passion for spear diving and the boys went out on an adventure looking for crayfish. Check that out. This was Chris and Julia's haul, <laughs> and here we are taking the credit for it. Oh, look, he's lost everything. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> After an entertaining evening involving a drift alarm, a flying fish, a paddle, a BB gun, and a shark, Chris and Julia journeyed to Port Fitzroy, where we would meet up later for another adventure. Cody got his long awaited opportunity to experience the rope swing at full tide. Cody and I are going on a little explore. Hey, we've been over there, all the way over there. Yeah, you see how sinky it is? The boys went on another speed diving mission to try and get kingfish, and we did a little bit of fishing off the boat. This is Cody reeling in what must have been a kingfish. It was hard work. We all had a go, but eventually it came off 20 minutes into the winder. Meanwhile, Taylor had her hair styled by a professional hairstylist. It literally has never looked so beautiful. Wow. Back at Port Fitzroy, we said goodbye to Chris and Julia as they went off to meet friends and family who were staying on the island. Can't wait to see you again next year. Hmm. Saturday started off wet, so we had some inside cabin time. How do they hold it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a rainy day and there's a dance. It's the Lanakai who we've seen 
on the other side of Great Barrier. And also, we've seen it up at Whangamumu. We're going for an evening motor in the little boat. Yes, Adam's having a little free dive. This is Oyster Island, just out from Nagel Cove, and where we parked up for our last night. Taylor decided to have a swim. Are you having a spearfish, Taylor? <laughs> I hold it with you. Okay. No show without punch. Hey, Cody. No show without Cody, man. After an unforgettable evening swimming in the most brilliant phosphorescence under a moonless sky, we were up early to leave Barry at 6am to beat the forecast 20 knot winds. We had a comfortable trip and the wind was just starting to pick up as we motored past Tiri and back into the marina. We're back on dry land, aren't we? And it's a yes, beautiful dry day. Land. And tell me what we're going to go do now, okay? Feed the fish. It's a workup. A workup? And what have you got for food? What Pets is and fish. Stormy's pig fish. There's millions. Our favourite thing to do is feed the fish at the marina while Adam cleans the boat. These fish are big, seriously huge, and just so out of reach. Oh, they're so cool, eh, Mama? It's like an aquarium, isn't it? Oh, they're kings. The kings don't eat it. Kings are fast. Now you want a piece of the action. Oh, whoa, that's a huge fish. Oh my god, he had his eye out of the water looking at us. You are ginormous. Big fingerprints. What the heck are you doing? Never mind, I'll find someone like 